Welcome to chapter 3 of AWS CDK in action. In this chapter, we are creating a basic web service using React Express as some AWS services such as Dynamo, an S3 bucket, and ECS. So, uh, first thing we need to do to be able to run and deploy this code is to open a terminal into the infrastructure folder and into the web folder and run the yarn command to install all the necessary dependencies. Okay, infrastructure folder is done. That web folder is done as well. And here in the web terminal, we can run also yarn build to build our React app. Okay, with that done, we can now go back into the infrastructure folder and we can run yarn CDK deploy profile CDK to deploy our stack. And as usual, we are passing the profile flag to be sure that we are deploying our stack to the correct account. So, okay, now the code will be synthesized and we will be prompt with all the changes that is going to happen on AWS. So let's see exactly what is going to be deployed here. As you guys can see, a DynamoDB table, an S3 bucket and an ECS cluster. And here in the terminal, we can see the prompt of all the changes that is going to happen on AWS. Okay, so now we can press Y to accept these changes. And now we just wait for CDK to do its magic as usual. Okay, it's creating the change set. Okay, so it started to create the, the stack itself. And uh, we can see this progress here as well as in, in this terminal, or we can follow all, all, of, all of this process right here in the AWS console. So let's go into our CloudFormation console right here, and we can see the Chapter 3 stack right here. Okay, so let's go back into our VS Code and just wait for the whole deployment process to be completed. Okay, uh, so with this process completed, we will be prompt with the stack output. And right here we have the front end URL and the back end URL. So let's copy these uh this front end url and let's paste this on our browser so let's open a new tab here and as you guys can see we have our react tab right here on aws so let's open the the developer console and uh, right here and let's go into the network tab let's try Let's press the, the add button right here. And, uh, oh, sorry, it was with a filter right here. Uh, okay, so as you guys can see, we have a bunch of errors right here because our front end is trying to reach localhost and this is not correct. Okay, so what we need to do to fix this thing right here is to paste the backend URL that was prompt right here into our React tab. So to do that, we need to go here into our React tab. Let's open the app. Just so you guys know, I'm pressing Ctrl and the, the mouse click to, to open uh, the, the, the components like that. So let's do it again on the main component. Okay, so we paste our backend URL right here. And we need to build our React app again. And we also need now to deploy the our stack again. So Okay, Yarn CDK deploy. And this will redeploy our React tab with the correct 
backend URL. Okay, so with the deployment done, we just copy our front end URL again. Let's paste this on our browser again. So, okay, as you guys can see, the same app, but now if I clear here all the network logs and I press add, you guys will see that uh, a to do was added into our app and that we are now indeed reaching the correct uh, endpoint. We are indeed uh, hitting the, the correct endpoint. Okay, with that done, we can now simply destroy our app. And to do that, we need to go back into our VS code and run yarn CDK destroy. And now we just wait for CDK to, to destroy our stack. This is gonna take some, some time because uh, we have an ECS into, we have a, a ECS uh, cluster in our stack and the ECS cluster takes a while to be destroyed. So now we just, we just wait. Okay, so the stack was destroyed and uh, with that done, uh, see you guys on chapter four. Bye.